YOLO. Uh, ah! No, no, it did actually happen! I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Well, hello there, space nerds. Dre here, and welcome back to another episode of Hard Space Ship Breaker. Today, we're probably going to explode many more ships because space is dangerous, man, and I'm all about making as much money as quickly as possible because we have a lot of debt to pay off in this game. Uh, so yeah, if you missed the first episode, we did a rank one ship. It was pretty fun. It was a little dangerous, but I'm ready to move on to rank two ships. Or sorry, ship class two, as they're called. So yeah, as you go up the rankings here, the ships get harder and harder, and I'm told that this game gets hard really, really quickly. So I'm almost able to get ship class threes right now, but I think we should start off with a ship class two. We'll see how far we can get today, and hopefully we can do pretty good. Now, before I forget, I really need to repair my cutter. Um, <laughs> it's almost broken. And yeah, I kind of had a rough time at the end of the last episode because my cutter was so broken. Um, now, I can't upgrade anymore, so we're going to start our shift right now. First of all, we have to sh check out the ship catalog because I did the full first ship. Uh, so we have to buy another one right now. So it looks like we have mackerels for days. I, I like the taste of mackerel. Hopefully the ships are just as fun. Um, so we have a light cargo or a station hopper. Um, station hopper kind of looks like the first one I did. So I think we'll try the light cargo ones out. It looks like they're all very similar in terms of core systems. Uh, so AKA danger. Hazard ratings medium. I don't know what any of these buttons mean. So hopefully I uh, can figure that out quickly or I'm gonna have to make a lot of clones today. Um, okay, so this one has two days. Interesting. Maybe we should try and do that. Might mean it's harder, but I like having more time to do things because I'm not very fast in these games. All right, so yeah, we're gonna claim that ship. We're gonna get out there and salvage it, and hopefully we can earn a couple million. All right, so let's start out with the external pieces. So we're gonna get off these, um, big pieces of whatever the hell this stuff is. Um, it needs to go to the barge, though. Nacelle? Is that what it's called? Okay, well, that's cool. And yeah, all those are one piece of metal, so I'm I'm always worried about selling things, especially big things, because you never know if you're accidentally selling something. But um, I'm slowly learning how to get better at this, and uh, it's not like the first episode went too bad. So yeah, we'll get these out of the way. There we go, and now we gotta safely get inside. This is the dangerous part. Do we have a door over here? We did. Perfect. So just like last time, we'll go into the pressurized chamber, and hopefully we can figure out a way to depressurize it once we get in there. Okay, so here we are in the depressurization chamber. And last time, right out this door, there was um, some sort of module we could use. Oh god, what are those? Do they explode? Uh, oh, what? I, I don't know what these squares mean, by the way. So hopefully um, it's not too dangerous in here. Doesn't look like they can explode or anything like that. Mind you, I'm getting creepy music. So yeah, let's do the atmospheric regulator so we don't get sucked out of this thing. Pressure level decreasing. All right, what is that? Oh God, there's too many things now. Nova feel. Um, okay, so I'm assuming that can definitely explode. So we gotta be very careful in here. I think there's gonna be a lot more danger now. So I'm assuming the red squares mean danger. Like that's a le level two danger. It's a fuel cell. So obviously if we bang that around too much, it can explode. So here's the cockpit. Um, we're gonna save that for last. Kind of similar to the last ship. We're just gonna have to take off these hull panels. But I think, yeah, we have these internal parts here, as you can see, like last time. So we're going to have to cut inside and uh, actually take those things out. Um, now, is that key for possibly... i got to figure out where, where that key goes. Or if that's something that I don't even need the key for, and it's just something that I can sell for an extra profit. All right. Yeah, let's just worry about the key later. I'm, I'm wasting time, and time is oxygen in this game. So let's try and start um, taking these panels off, because the bottom should come out pretty easily. Uh-oh, 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 oh, God! Oh, this is why I shouldn't have used the saw! Oh, Jesus! Oh, God, already? Okay, okay, get, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. What the hell? I have learned the dangers of the saw, so melting specific parts is obviously a good idea. I have a radio malfunction now. Uh, did it change my radio station? Oh, my God, game, are you serious? At least I didn't die. That was close. Oh my god, what did I hit? I think it was one, one, one of these containers that are floating around. Yeah, they're they're level one danger, so I'm thinking the red square, I'm correct, is danger. Uh, so yeah, don't use the saw if you don't need to, I guess. I was just not wanting to use it because this overheats the gun more, and therefore I have to repair it faster. But maybe I should work on taking these things out right now instead of heating up this area anymore. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm too lazy. I just want to open up a few panels here. 
Oh, I can collect this. Okay, I should have done that way quicker. So, thruster field, perfect. Can I, do I reuse that? That actually is really cool if I have, if I can actually use that fuel. And I think I saw a med kit on there. So, I don't even see where my health is, if I'm honest. Oh, my health is right at the bottom right. Oh my god, I am blind. So, like I said, I think I saw a med kit in here. So, if I can use that, that's great. I'll just have to be very careful not to be hit again, because I only, only have 32 health. Well, great. I don't know where I saw that med kit. Maybe I'm crazy as well, and there wasn't a med kit. Is that it? Collect. Data drive. Hell yeah, dude. Alright. I, I was going a little slow today, but... I screwed up a lot. Oh, this thing's so much better at pulling things around now. That or this is a really light piece of equipment. Okay, so we're gonna send that down to the barge. And there we go. That should go into there. This one needed to go into the processing plant. Oh my god, I'm so discombobulated. Being in space is a little confusing for me. Oh god. Oh, what am I doing? Is it, I thought I thought this was d disattached. There we go. So the danger boxes all have to go to the barge. Where the hell is the barge? Oh my god, it's it's below it. Damn it, I'm gonna have to break off the other side or pull these out this way. I think we'll wait for that. Tethers, I don't think deplete, so we'll just let them hang out there. All right, you know what? One minute left. I do not want to be fired yet, so let's just head back. I need to accept defeat today. Screwed up a little bit there, but hey, mistakes happen. At least we didn't kill ourselves. It was close, but uh, we didn't have to get a clone yet. <laughs> All right, so how do we do? The soft crate that almost killed me got destroyed. I destroyed it a, a light and 28 kgs of nanocarbon during that fire as well. But overall, I mean, 715,000 for today. That's kind of comparable to the other days that I've done. So even being that we didn't do too well, we still sold a lot. So it, it, it worked out. And we're very, very slowly paying off that debt. <laughs> I love the interest that we got to pay too on this major loan. Jesus Christ. And all these utility fees. This game, the whole point of this game, by the way, is to be, you know, literally run by corporations, and that's why we're so far in debt. <laughs> Alright, so before I forget, I need to repair these all the time. Actually, do, the, do I use the repair kits when I repair, though? Because I don't want to repair them when they're 72. I think we should be okay today. But I gotta make sure I'm repairing these things, because, um, it sucks when you forget to repair your damn tools. Now, we got 145 LT, so we might be able to get an upgrade here. I think the upgrades are actually 150, so talk about unlucky. Some of them are actually cheaper, though, I think. 1,400, Jesus. Yeah, it looks like the lowest that I could quickly see is 150, and I don't really need, I don't feel like I need upgrades right now. They would definitely help, uh, but I'd rather actually save my money to figure out what I truly want for an upgrade. So we're going to start our new shift here, um, obviously continue the salvage, and we still have a lot to do, so hopefully today goes a bit better. All right, so we'll start today by uh, selling these to the processing plant. Hopefully, we don't break any of these tethers and it actually works this time. Man, I hate when the tethers go red. It looks like we're okay, though. Pull those things, and now I can sell these to the barge without risking dying, basically. I just want to make sure they all go to the barge. Barge, barge, yeah, all barge, so we're all good. I'm feeling better about today. I have uh, learned from my mistakes, and it should go a little bit better. All right, all aboard the tether train. Hopefully, I did that right, and you guys can all go down. Oh, man, these things really go fast. Watch out. Oh, I ripped my tether. You bastard. Okay, well, definitely want to get some more tethers because they're very easy to rip. That or more durable tethers would be nice. Looks like I forgot this one. I didn't really need to use tethers for these because they're so light, but they do also explode, so I didn't want to be close to them just in case I'm dumb. And... Oftentimes I am. Is there a reactor back here? Oh God. Okay. Well, we're not gonna touch that part of the ship just yet. So we have a second reactor that's a lot bigger than any other one that I've dealt with. Now those are all the external. Um. Oh, actually, we have some here. I lied. Okay. I think that's all of them now. We have some obviously inside the walls though. So I gotta possibly take these apart. Cause yeah, there's actually a bunch of different metals here, and I don't want to waste any money. So. Gonna have to go inside the old saw way. So we're gonna open this bad boy up. Give me enough space to hopefully get inside. Hopefully there's no explodey parts, par parts in there, because um, it's always horrifying opening, opening these things up. No Alright, we'll pull this out. Oh, god damn, it's wedged inside. Are you serious? I'm gonna have to cut it ha halfways. Alright, and we have a red canister over here. I wonder what that could be. Comp CMPT? Com computer? The hell is this? Oh, it's 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 uh oh it's a fuel tank. Great. All right. Well, we're gonna make sure we don't hit this with uh, hot pieces. All right. I think this is the final of the supports. So we should be able to just hit our head off this and lift it up. I mean, it's a heavy beast, but yeah, it is definitely moving as you can see. Perfect. 
Okay, so now we just gotta worry about the explodey bits. Still don't have a strong enough tool to do this quickly, but if you take your time, pull them in the middle, then they don't get wedged in like we did in the last episode, and we'll just let these float into space and deal with them later. Alright, and to the processor with you, foul beast, so I can deal with the dangers of the fuel canister and coolant tank. Alright, so processor's right there. I'm gonna pull this one. Hopefully it doesn't bang them together too much. And we should be good. I'm just gonna stand away just in case bad things happen. These things pull pretty quickly. Oh, it looks like we did break one off. Two off. God damn. I need better be, better tethers. Alright, we'll just deal with deal with these. And I'm almost out of tethers again. So yeah, I really do need a tether upgrade. This is getting kind of ridiculous. So what do we have to do with these things? Alright, again, all the dangerous parts generally go to the barge, so we'll just rip that off. Oh god. It's always scary when you're dealing with field tank. Did it explode? <gasps> oh Jesus! It can hit the other pieces that are down there. Oh, that's evil. So I have to strategically place these as well. Well, I lost that fuel canister. At least it didn't explode in my face. Oh man, I gotta pull this thing off. Come on. There we go. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. Get the hell out of the way. <gasps> Get it off here. Ah! And god damn it, I shot it the wrong way. Thank god that didn't explode. Oh, I did it again. Okay. Okay. We're okay. <laughs> it was about to explode though. That's not supposed to go down there. All right, well, good news, boys and girls. My work order is indeed complete, so job well done. We did it within the two days that it wanted me to do it. I'm still here to earn some money, though. Is this really not pulling off? Like, seriously, what's it attached to? It must just be, like, welded together with the front here. Um, because it looks like, obviously, it's a separate piece. Five minutes left already? God, time flies when you're almost dying every friggin' second. All right, well, we'll worry about that um, coolant later. As long as we're not working on that side, I don't risk breaking it, probably, hopefully. So we're gonna do the same thing on the other side here. We gotta get inside, deal with all those um, structural points, and probably there's gonna be tanks in here as well that are dangerous, so we obviously wanna be a little bit careful. All right, let's do as much as we can. Let's not ru rush too much, though, because there's a tank right there, as you can see, but... We've got to get all these things off. Oh my god, I'm <laughs> I'm risking it today, man. Like if one of these things bounces and hits that tank, I'm I'm oh god, like that. You see that? It, it, it's kind of like a laser where it shoots everywhere. And if I hit that tank, I'm I'm a freaking goner. Okay, still got three three minutes left. I have just enough oxygen to probably survive the day. So we're gonna get through here. We might be able to actually get all these. There's the coolant tank. Yolo. Uh... No, no, it did actually happen. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Oh my god. Okay, so that, that was too close. Uh, this is why I shouldn't risk it. This could end badly, guys. All right, well, I'm just going to stay outside for the rest of today because I don't know what's going on in there. Oh god, I how, how's my health? Okay, didn't get as damaged as much this time, but obviously my, my actual suit's kind of damaged. So what else can I do while I'm here? <laughs> Actually, I think it's okay. I still have two minutes. I'm obviously risking it a little too much here, though. Um, okay, what are we working with here? Which side what was I even working on? Was it this side? I'm so easily lost when I'm in weightlessness. <laughs> it is this side. Okay, well, it's gone, so we don't have to worry about it anymore. Tis but a scratch. I, I didn't get hurt too much today, so that's good. And now that all the beams are gone, we should be able to make quick work of the rest of this, hopefully by the end of tomorrow. Oh yeah, that's right, I forgot, we have a giant reactor in the back we have to deal with as well, so that's gonna be fun. Okay, a minute left, I think we're gonna end our shift early. I'm gonna need to get oxygen anyway, so... Gotta remember today, we're gonna have to repair our tools as well. Alright, and as per usual, when I'm not finishing a lot of the quests, I don't earn as much money, but still, $500,000, not bad for a days of work. Um, yeah. Did we get any more LT? Yes, we did, so we might actually be able to get an upgrade today as well. What did I... Oh, I didn't even look at what I broke. I was actually curious how much I broke today, but... Too bad I missed it. So we can get more range. Uh, we can also get a split saw license, so it looks like it does two beams on the side. That actually sounds pretty cool. Heat capacity, cooldown. No, I guess I can't make it any stronger to cut through thicker material. I was hoping that would happen. Maybe later on in these levels I can. Um, I don't know what I want. That's the thing. All right, so we have this push module as well, which will create a, 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 a walls field bubble that hopefully keeps me safe. I don't use push much, so I think I'm gonna just upgrade simple tether amount. I always need to go back and buy more tethers, so the more tethers we have, the happier of a boy I am. So yeah, we're just gonna waste some money on that. There's a few other things I wanted to buy, but I mean, I only have so much LT I can use. So yeah, let's start this shift, continue the salvage on this bad boy, and 
It might take one more day after this, I don't know. It's been a little slower of a process this time, and obviously I've been screwing up a little bit more, so hopefully we can uh, pull it together today. It's interesting, this side's much harder to rip apart. Oh, there we go, I was able to pull this one. Man, I'm really gonna have to upgrade that strength, because... I mean, these are huge pieces. I have to remember that. We're pulling off pretty big pieces of the ship, but it's almost like they're still stuck together until you pull for a good five to ten seconds. Oh, you know what? Why pull when I can push? Why didn't I think of this before? If I use this and boom! Boom! That's not working. What the? Is it attached to something? It might be the side wall. Yeah, you know what? Hold on. We just cut this. Oh god! Oh that that was a freaking pressurized chamber! Oh god, it's pushing me! Jesus Christ, what Oh, there's an airlock there. <laughs> I'm screwing up everything. <laughs> well, my fuel's gone for some reason, but I'm still full health, so nothing came out and shot me in the face at least. God. Well worry not, I've depressurized the chamber now. Can I not even open it anymore? Fuel levels are low. Oh, I should probably go get fuel, shouldn't I? All right, well, let's just send these to the processor, because I know that's where these need to go, and they should all be good to go. There's nothing attached to them anymore. Get them out of the way so I don't have to worry about them anymore. Don't break the tether, please. I don't want to deal with any more broken... You bastard. Okay, here. Hold on. There we go. Pull it! Just... I don't know why they stretch. I wish you could tell it, hey, don't stretch the freaking tethers anymore. Oh, it's still breaking them. You know what? Sometimes, man, these tethers are great. Other times, I just... It'd be faster for me to just manually do it. I mean, I could just go this way and manually connect each one. That's probably a better idea, but I kind of try and... I want to try and save time by tethering them together. This doesn't seem to be saving much time, though, does it? Okay, so now I'm taking a lot more time. I don't know if it's worth it to take a lot of time, but I'm going to be cutting off a lot of this stuff because... If it has two pieces of material here, usually it doesn't have to go to the same place. So, like, we have the furnace and then the processor. If I can cut out all these internal panels like I'm doing right now... Uh, like, as you can see, I just pulled that piece out. That's gonna give me a little bit of money. Again, I hope it's worth the time. But, I just enjoy slowly taking these things apart. So, there we go. That one, we'll just slowly cut all these off of the big piece. So, that piece doesn't cut, though. It looks like it's just the freaking door. It's kind of weird how some work and some don't. All right, well, let's start working on the cockpit. I didn't get as much done as I wanted today, but I'm trying to be a better scrapper. I'm trying to get all these things sold, so I'm so lost right now, <laughs> if you can't tell. Where's my barge? There it is. All right. <laughs> but yeah, all these little pieces, especially like the technology pieces, seem to be worth a lot of money. So if, if we take our time on them, I think it's worth it. What the hell is this? Oh, there goes the furnace. All right. All right, so I'm just going to start ripping off pieces. Even if we miss a little bit, like, that's a big piece of, uh, metal. Because this orange stuff goes to a different place than the green, so... We're just gonna go crazy now. I'm just... I've, I, I, I've given up taking my time. Okay, unfortunately, oxygen's critical. I only got a minute left, so... We'll sell this last piece. I'm a little worried today. It was a lot of small pieces. We'll see if it's worth it to kind of get these small pieces. I gotta get home quick, or I'm gonna get fired. Okay, and here we go. What did we earn today? It was a lot much of a lighter load. Yeah, again, 353. So, is it worth it to take your time? I d as you can see, I, ve I didn't destroy much at all. And as you can see, like, I was taking my time trying to do it right. I mean, obviously, you're going to have pieces kind of stuck to everything when you're cutting them. Um, but that's pretty great. I just don't know if it's worth it with the little amount that I get paid to take your time. Well, actually, it's definitely not worth it because my my daily payments are five hundred thousand dollars. So if I'm not earning five hundred thousand at least, I'm losing money per day. So that was a mistake. I'm gonna have to rush a little bit harder, but um, we learn. So by the end of today, we're gonna sell the rest of this thing. Actually, let's go back and make sure my equipment is good to go. Um, ninety-seven, fifty-seven. Oh, that's close. I think we're, we should be okay though. Again, I don't know how it, how we get repair kits. We can probably buy them at the console, can't we? Let's start our shift and check that. Okay, let me see. Um, yeah, patch kit. I'm assuming that's what that is. But yeah, we, we should be okay today. So I'm gonna rush through this. Let's work on the dangerous part first. We still have that reactor. Um, and then I wanna get some of the stuff out of the cockpit. That should be easy. And then we're just gonna sell some big ticket items. I'm probably going to screw up a lot today, but I need to rush and get this done. So yeah, we have a reactor in here. I gotta figure out how I wanna get out of this thing. Oh my God. 
right, so I think I'm gonna take a risk here. This might heat the reactor. Oh, damn it, really? This is this is unbreakable. Um, of course it's it's on. Oh, you bastard! Can I can I break this piece? That's got to be part of the reactor. Um, let's see if I can pull it out. Oh, it did came out. Oh my god, I got lucky. Okay. <sighs> this is scary. Okay. I'm so glad that piece was able to be pulled out. We'll send that to the processor. Hopefully, come on. Get to the processor, you little jerk. Okay, so now can I pull this thing out? This is what I'm scared about. It needs to go to the barge, so if we just... Oh, God. Okay, I think I yanked it off. <gasps> oh, God. Okay. Oh, it's, it's loose. The goose is loose. Just pull it out. Just pull it out, and then... Oh, God. Wait, where the hell's the barge? <laughs> I'm so discombobulated. Get it the hell out of here. Oh, is it gonna hit the side? Oh, thank God. Okay. Scary part's done. So, yeah, I really gotta analyze everything, because this is what blew up, I think. It still might be able to blow up, so I'm gonna take my time, try not to hit anything with it, as I hit the side with it, and get it the hell out of here. At least we still s sold it. Obviously, I'm a little damaged, but I'm still alive. Alright, let's take a risk here. How much health do I have? I got lots of health. This thing might explode. Yep. Let's just stay away from it. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I know. I know. It's okay, buddy. Come on. It's okay. It's okay. I'm, I'm overheating? Get it the hell out of here, then. All right. I, I need to go get fuel. My guy has nine lives, I swear. I've gotten so close to death, like, what? Five, six times this episode? <laughs> oh, it's great. All right. So, at this point, I'm just going for big ticket items. Uh, obviously, the externals here are all processor. I think the... Let me just check on the inside here. These may be processor? Oh, actually, yeah. We're good. So, we should be able to earn quite a bit of money with these big ticket items, so... Hopefully, it should be able to pull it. It's hard to tell. Yeah, it was just really heavy. I couldn't move it manually. This one might still be attached, but I'm gonna go for it here. Worst case, I'll just cancel my tether. There we go. Get out of the way. Alright. This is actually not too bad. Yeah, we have some furnace pieces here, as you can see. That internal wall. So, I might be able to pull that out. I, how much time do I got? I got eight minutes left. Okay, yeah, these internal walls need to go to the furnace, but the external need to go to the processor. With how little time I have left, I'm just gonna send it all to the processor, and hopefully I don't ruin that. Does this need to go to the furnace, actually? Hold on. Oh, no, no, no. Can cancel, cancel. We'll send it to the furnace, because this is all furnace. All this external stuff. Oh, I can't. I need tethers! It's so slow! And every time I shoot it, I get major knockback, as you can see. I think it's gonna go over there, though. There it goes. Oh, isn't it a beauty when you do that big of a piece? All right, hopefully there wasn't too much processor stuff on that. All right, what do I got left? Five minutes? Yeah, uh, 2,000 kgs went to the right place, and 700 went to the wrong place. That's, that's okay. This is the cockpit, so it's hard to tell with the cockpit what makes more sense. The inside, again, needs to go to the furnace. Outside needs to go to the processor, though, so I think we're just going to send it to the processor, except that some of this is not going to be sold at the right place. Is that an antenna? Oh no, that's a spaceship. <laughs> There's still all these little pieces I have to send as well. There we go. I think that's all of it, guys. I have fully salvaged another ship, and I think it went... I mean, we had a, lo a lot of rough patches today. There's still a few small pieces here. I mean, we have five minutes. We, we may as well sell everything we can. But yeah, a lo lot of rough pet patches today, but it was a lot harder to sell everything um, with all those explodey bits on the inside. So yeah, the last ship, we just had one we had to worry about. There were so many things, electrical things in this. It was actually quite scary. Um, okay, this thing's... Come on, get in there. Okay, and yeah, it went into the processor, and it's looking like empty space now, more or less. So, I'm gonna end my day a couple minutes early here, and uh, yeah. That was a rough one, man. <laughs> a lot of close calls, but we still haven't had to use any drones. I gotta say, I feel pretty good about that. Because the whole point of this game is to die a lot. And uh, we didn't. And that was, whew, much better days, you can clearly see. How did I, what, what did I screw up with? That's not bad, considering how quickly I was working. Um, heaviest thing was 821 kgs. We sold like 6,000 kgs, 3,000, 2,000. So, um... Clearly, that went way better than I expected, so I, I think I'm focused too much on taking every little piece and putting it to the correct place. Where this game, you know, time is money, you gotta do this as quickly as possible, move on to the next ship, make bank, and pay off your stupid debt.
So yeah, that time we earned a profit. That was much better day than the last one. And uh, yeah, on that, I think we're going to wrap up another episode here, guys. So I hope you guys are enjoying this game. I am loving it so much now. Going to the certification here. The one thing we need to focus on is furniture. Uh, we're almost there with the credits. And once we get 15 furniture, I think that unlocks ship class three. So obviously in the next episode, I would like to try ship class three. We might need to work on a ship class two as well, though. Um, and yeah, we'll see how difficult it gets. But yeah, we're going to wrap it up here, guys. Thank you so much for all your support. Thanks for watching and liking, guys. And I'll see you in the next one.